Brothers and sisters in Christ, good day. Today, we remember the spiritual martyrdom of Mary, Mother of God, and her compassion with the sufferings of her divine Son, Jesus. In the Gospel, we can see the image of the mother, a mother suffering a lot of pain, watching her dying son on top of the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Jesus entrusted Mary to John before he breathed his last. It is also an invitation to us all Catholics to welcome Mama Mary into our hearts because we are his disciples. St. Ambrose, in particular, sees Mary as a sorrowful yet powerful figure of the cross. Mary stood fearlessly at the cross while others fled. Mary looked on her son's wounds with pity, but saw in them the salvation of the world. As Jesus hung on the cross, Mary did not fear to be killed but offered herself to her persecutors. It is so sad and very painful for Mama Mary watching her son dying on the cross. That is the reason why we gathered here today in this Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. We are here to share the pains and sorrows of Mama Mary for the loss of her beloved son, Jesus Christ, and also welcoming Mama Mary as the mother of Jesus and our mother too. There are many titles given to Mama Mary, like Our Lady of Sorrows, Our Lady of the Lords, the Sorrowful Mother, or Mother of Sorrows, Mater Dolorosa, Our Lady of Piety, Our Lady of Seven Sorrows, or Our Lady of the Seven Dolors. These are the names by which Mary, Mother of Jesus, is referred to in relation to sorrows in life. Blessed Virgin Mary portrayed in mournful state, tears, bleeding heart, pierced by seven daggers. This represents the seven sorrows of Mama Mary. There are seven swords signifies the seven sorrowful events found in the Gospels called the seven sorrows of Mama Mary. And here are the seven sorrows of Mary. First, the prophecy of Simeon that a sword will pierce the soul of Mary. Second, the flight into Egypt to escape Herod. The third, the loss of Jesus for three days in the temple. Fourth, meeting Jesus on the road to Calvary while carrying the cross. Fifth, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Sixth, holding Jesus when he was taken down from the cross. And seventh, Jesus laid in the tomb. This feast of the Our Lady of Sorrows reminds us Catholics to be strong enough in facing trials and sufferings in life like Mama Mary. As Jesus hung on the cross, Mary did not fear to be killed, but offered herself to her persecutors. So also, we must not be afraid to stand for our faith and for the greater glory of God. We must not also lost our hope. Instead, we must remain faithful to Christ and the church, like Mama Mary. May these words of the song, Stabat Mater, be our guide. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping. 
close to Jesus to the last, through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length, the sword had passed. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. Amen.